Hi, it's Jill Brooke from Flower Power, where we tell stories through flowers. Well, when you think of St. Patrick's Day, what do you think of? You think of all things green, you think of rainbows and pots of gold, and good luck. So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna do three projects to illustrate all the possibilities of St. Patrick's Day. But let's start with moss. Moss is so beautiful. It grows in dark places and also adds light and beautiful, beautiful, vibrant colors. So you can take some Irish moss and just put it in a planter, or you can think about a rainbow of colors that moss now has, such as this psychedelic green and this beautiful magenta. So what you do is you first, I am going to line this little vase with green, and then I'm going to take the magenta, as you see right here, and I'm going to layer that so I'm creating a stripe. And then I'm going to top it with the mint icy green again. And then what you do is you take your plant and you put it on the side of it, and voila! You created a rainbow of color. You have this beautiful, beautiful psychedelic mint green. You have the magenta and then you have the other green. And look just how pretty it is. And it just shows you that you can just do one extra detail and you can elevate it. And often that requires just adding an abundance of colors, just like in a rainbow. Now we're going to think about St. Patrick's Day in terms of cabbage. And here I just want you to be able to think of using everyday items in unexpected ways. So here I took a cabbage and I just literally peeled the leaves. And it created sort of this hat, didn't it? And then what you can do is that you can just add flowers, any flower that you want. And because it's St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to add the white carnation because that represents good luck. And last but not least, we are literally going to create the ability to have a rainbow of colors in the carnation. So here you see an example of different white carnations that have turned orange, green, and blue. And now I'm going to teach you how to do it. And as always on Flower Power, we like to keep things simple and fun. So what you do is you take a vase, which like we have right here, of plain water, and you add your magic ingredients. We're gonna add a teaspoon of sugar, and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of white vinegar, which you can find in most cupboards or at any store, and it's good to have because it's always good for flowers and keeping things clean. And then, of course, we are going to add the food coloring. So you add like 10 drops. There you go. And then you can literally stir it up with the scissor I'm about to use to cut the flowers to put in. But here's the important part. It is crucial that you take these white flowers, which represent good luck, carnation always represents good luck, and you cut it at a 45 degree angle. And what that does is it allows the flower to drink up this beautiful green color and literally start to blossom into all the petals, as you will see in a few hours. And what you tell your children or your grandchildren or your friends is you say, let's do this project in the morning and then look, let's go outside and look at nature and look for rainbows. And when we return, if we haven't seen a rainbow, at least you will see a rainbow of colors with your flowers. I'm Jill Brooke from Flower Power. Tune in on Tuesdays at Do You Remember, where we create memories with flowers.